Good morning, everybody. Mike Brelsford of Brelsford Woodworks. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. I appreciate it. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning on a Sunday morning. I was laying in bed. I woke up. Couldn't go back to sleep. I'm like, oh, heck. Might as well go make some shaving. So here I am. I've got a nice big sycamore log already chucked up. And I've got an idea for a vase that I want to make, and this will be the first step. So I got my spindle roughing gouge, and I'm just going to go to work on it, just slowly trying to make it round, and then I can start shaping it the way I want. But I'm going to do some things to it. I had some ideas, so uh, let's see what I can do. Here we go. I've started the shape, the general shape that I want. It's going to taper down pretty dramatically. As a matter of fact, this one will require a stand to sit in. It won't be able to stand on its own with the uh, with the design that I have in mind. So I'm just going to continue on with the shaping, and uh, we'll just see as how it comes as we go along. Okay, so I poured some epoxy here yesterday, filled a knot hole, so I just got to take this smooth.
All right, so I'm going to finish this in polyurethane, and I'm going to finish the outside now because I can then, when I get it mounted in the chuck and I get it on the steady rest, I can wrap it in my cling plastic and uh, get it hollowed without having to worry about coming back and taking care of the outside. All right, time to drill this one out so I can start hollowing it. All right, so as far as I can tell, I am almost there. I have a little bit of widening to do. I think I'm at the depth I need to be. Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is just work on towards the sides a little bit and uh, 
but as I finish this up, I'm gonna do this on time lapse. Okay, I finished the inside, I did a little bit of sanding on the outside again, took it to 400, um, but now I'm going to flip it around, put it in the chuck here, spun around, and I am going to uh, finish this tail off because I'm take it to a point, or to a almost like a torpedo end. So, let me get that flopped around. So, I do believe I'm going to add a belt and suspender. So, I'm going to put some plastic wrap right about here. And I'm going to move my steady rest in place. So, we get that set up. I'll be right back. Alright, so it's time to shave off this tenon and try to get this thing shaped down at the bottom the way I want it. Here we go. So I am going to add some coat of polyurethane. It's time to start working on the stand for the vase and I'm going to make three segmented rings, glue them up in a stack and the vase will sit down inside the ring and off of the ring I'm going to put three legs, bent uh, laminated legs and um, yeah I'm looking forward to getting that done. I think it'll look great. <laughs> Alright, so I got my, what will be my detail ring, I've got, um, I've got it planed off on both sides, and now I'm going to cut them, it, cut it in 24 sections. So, uh, I know the inside of my ring has to be 7 sixteenths, so I've got it marked up, I've got my uh, short fence in place, and uh, I'm going to get these cut up right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
able to take this apart. Alright, this is going to be the top to the base. Let's turn this.
take the rest of that off with a um, file. All right, so here's my stand. I got my ring. It's all sanded, and I made the adjustments to attach the legs yesterday. So now all I can do is shape the legs. And I'm going to give the legs a general contour of the overall vase itself. It'll, it'll taper up on top and then taper down to a, a point on the bottom. So I've got one of them drawn up, ready to cut, and uh, I'm going to use it as a template for the other two. So let's get that cut. generally cut out I'm going to smooth it down now I'm going to smooth down these long straight sides on my joiner and then I will do the tip on my um, oscillating spindle sander So I'm putting on the uh, the f legs onto the ring. Put a little glue on. And there it is. I'm pretty happy with that. Got to do a few little touch-ups on it before I put some poly on it, spray it with poly. But uh, I believe that will do the job. Okay, so here we'll put together the final product. I got my stand and I have the vase, which will sit in the stand. 
and I have a top to go in there. So that top fits in snugly enough that if uh, I wanted to not glue it in, if someone wanted to be able to have the options, they could display it with or without this top. I guess I could go either way. Um, I did put a lot of work into this, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. All right, so we have the sycamore vase, which stands, this vase itself is uh, just shy of 20 inches. With the top, it'll be about 23 inches, um, and it'll stand on the stand floor to 32 and a half inches. But, um, so we have the sycamore, the vase itself is sycamore. Uh, the legs are hard maple. The rings are hard maple and the dark wood is mesquite. Same thing on the top. You have the hard maple and the mesquite. And that's it. All right. Thank you all for watching. If you think you've gotten anything out of this, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Also, leave me comments because I will answer every single one of them. And as always, everybody, please stay safe and have a good day. Bye-bye.